Hello! <laughs> Sorry, didn't realize you were there. It's Keith from KMA's Corner. Welcome to episode number 29 of KMA's Jams. And if you're wondering, I need to um, fix some of my tools. And while I do that, I'm going to tell you what this episode's all about. The last episode, episode 28, which came out last Monday, was recorded over a month ago. I got sick. I recorded a whole bunch of episodes real quick and realized I was a month and a half ahead of myself and I said, this is stupid, I gotta stop recording episodes, but I did not want to stop working in my world. So I continued to work in the world and do a whole bunch of stuff in between making the wool factory, the rainbow factory, and making, oh my, that's, up. Oh, okay, that's fixed, now my axe. Um. So, this episode, I'm going to go around and give you a tour of all the stuff I have done. If you have watched, I have streamed a little bit, um, and I've released some of the streams on uh, YouTube, so you may know... Excuse me. Oh, there we go. All done. Let's put our clothes back on. Ignore all the obsidian in my... There we go. Nor all the obsidian in my inventory, as that is not important right now. But let me show you all the things that I have done with the world, and um, that will be basically this whole episode. <laughs> yeah, kind of scary, but it is. So, I'll be right back. Okay, so, first things first. Oh, I have a dragon head. I killed the dragon. Dragon thing second. Look in the top right. I have a whole bunch of stuff going on. Yes, that is right. I have um, the super massive mega beacon. Right here. So I have killed the wither. Many times. Um... And I really, I do apologize for not showing you that, but I, you know, I love Minecraft. This is my world, and I'm going to play it. And I was a little bit ahead, so, I, you know, with the videos, and I had lots of free time for a while. So I decided to uh, do some work. So I do have the six beacon thingy, majiggy. Um, I'm probably going to move it. It's not going to stay a six beacon thingy, majiggy. I decided to make a six... Uh, beacon thingy majiggy just to show off kinda um, I actually finally found a chicken and I'm slowly getting eggs so in the future I will have plenty of you know I'll have a chicken cooker every world has a chicken cooker I don't have, I don't have a chicken cooker I don't want to be jumping in there with the chickens right now alright I don't know if this was on uh, a stream or whatever but there used to be a cactus farm right here um, I moved the cactus farm because I made this place. Um, episode 29 was initially going to be me making this place, but I decided against it. Um, I have not completed this. I have lots of work to do because it's just the basic outline of the building, but this will be my stable. And there's my horse that my daughter had named for me. Um, so we will work on this in the future. Um, to make it look better, the floor is wrong, I gotta, you know, add some, the, I gotta add mustache to this. So, um, this is a new thing, and it will be recreated down there, because that only holds like six or seven horses, I need to hold like 12 of them, so I'm just probably gonna end up tearing this thing down, or maybe I'll leave it there, I don't know. But I'm going to make a double version of it down here, where my farms used to be. So I have to go show you where my farms are. But it's gotten dark, so let me fix that. Ah, it's all fixed. Sun is shining. Rainbows are out. There's no rain, though, so I don't know why the rainbow's out. Uh, but anyways, I made a temporary, this is definitely temporary, uh, chorus farm because I did go get the elytra which I do not have on me um, and I got to harvest this farm but I'm not gonna harvest this here so basically what I'm doing is just getting enough um, 
purple blocks. So I have a nice inventory so I can start building. Um, and basically, what I'm going to do is make like a two or three high place so I can get the fruit. And make another place so these guys can grow up tall and have like a little water flushing system so I can flush it and collect all the stuff from it. Um, but it's definitely not going to be here. I just, I actually put this on top of the river that went through here and decided to make these little walking platforms so I can steal the fruit. But definitely temporary. But now you know I have purper. So the farms that I had over here. I had a, um, what were those things called? Hmm, the thing that you get the brown dye from, cocoa beans. I had the cocoa bean farm here. I had the vine farm here. I had the carrot, potato, wheat, whatever farms over here. And I had the cow farm, a uh, pig farm, and a sheep farm over here. And I've moved all that because, um, I those farms were small and they were temporary so let me show you what I have done with those farms I have moved them to the other side of the rainbow see there's a rainbow here's the other side so we've got oh yeah I have the sugar farm also and I <laughs> got enough lily pads to actually cover up all the little spots there except for a couple down there I need like seven or eight more lily pads and I got that from an AFK fishing farm good way of getting lily pads so uh, quickly, I mean it's a farm so it's not like you need to really see this. We got the pigs, oink. We got the sheep, bah. We got uh, potatoes here. And we've got the wheat over here. I moved the um, cocoa beans and the vines because I like using um, the, vine, the stone vine blocks, you know the mossy stone vine blocks things. Um, we got the carrots. And we got the beets. Um, I did go get the elytra and stuff. So, of course, I got the beets. And the size of the farm, to give you an idea, that was on the other side of the rainbow, was the size of just this one wheat farm. So it was set up in four different sections. You see the four uh, little white spots. Those were the center of each of the four different farms. But instead, each one of these farms is now the same exact size of the in initial one. And I also, in the back there, have um, enough uh, nether wart to uh, brew enough stuff for enough servers that it doesn't even... Believe me, I'm drowning in nether wart, is basically what I'm saying. So we got the, the cows, and I brought over a couple of mushrooms, and I'm breeding those up now also. I did have that secret little fishing, uh, AFK fishing spot in my um, base over where R2-D2, the place with the blue covered dome that is, can't be seen right now, um, but it, it wasn't really safe. I couldn't put a door there um, because of all the villager stuff I have going on over there and I didn't want to mess up the village, so my villager breeder. So I moved the AFK fishing farm over here and I can just um, AFK here, actually, uh, here and just stay, stare up. It's covered, I could cover the back up with the logs so I am completely safe in here. And down here, we have the storage for it. And I'll make this look better in the future, but right now I'm still working on getting everything right um, and not really looking good. I will do the looking good part on camera. So we'll fix all this stuff up and make it look good. And now because the farm is in a different place, I have weird places for my chests to hold all the storage of the stuff that I am currently working with. And yes, I do have a diamond hoe. And um, <laughs> so of course I'm not going to leave the storage units in the middle of a field and even on top of my water sources for my cane or sugar cane I am gonna make a farm building it's not gonna look like the farmhouse that you would think you'd see you know in the Midwest or something but I am gonna make a farmhouse I don't know if I'm gonna make it on this hill looking over or if I'm gonna make it down there kinda like where the pig is but I already have the design for that and it's going to be 
closer to a yeah um it's gonna be an interesting building it's 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 definitely let me explain something to you i i like to cruise reddit all the time there is a subreddit called evil buildings and i sometimes get inspiration for my buildings from evil buildings subreddit and i saw an evil building and um it's based around a dome but it doesn't look like a dome when it's done uh, and that's going to be my farmhouse. It could be a, a, kind of like a greenhouse and stuff, but that's for all my chests, and I'm going to throw a bed in there, enchanting table, and all other sorts of stuff. And i got to get a rabbit farm going. I haven't done anything with rabbits. Hey, buddy. Here. You're welcome. Um, as you see, I have switched over to golden carrots because... Um, I have the gold farm now, and golden carrots are the best way to eat, and that was part of the reason why I needed to make a bigger carrot farm, because I actually breed my villagers with carrots, because I do believe that's the best way to breed them. So the villagers got carrots. So over here, the newest thing that's going to happen in the next couple episodes is I am going to make a farmhouse probably over there. And add a couple of more farms. I guess I'm going to put the chicken cooker. No, I want the chicken cooker in my spawn chunks. This is out of my spawn chunks. So I'll put, um, i figure out some sort of rabbit farm. I don't know if there's any good rabbit farms out there. But I'm going to put up a rabbit farm somewhere around here. So I had, uh, told you I tore down the, um, the cactus farm that was over there. And I moved it here. It's just the same exact design, different blocks, because now I have the prismarine stuff. So it's just a simple little ta cactus farm with 16 little cactuses. But with only 16 cactuses, if it's in your spawn chunks, you know, you know, you don't have to worry about it. So I got this thing so it will go for a long, long time. Um, and I'll have cactus forever. So this is, it's hiding from... The main path, this is the path that I use to go to my um, golem farm. And over here, there is a work in progress, but I'm just trying to space things out. I am going to make a tower around this build because that is ugly. And I will make an episode with this tower, but this is basically the outline of the tower that you see here. Oh, hey, Donkey, I just came up to the top of this farm, and look, what are you doing in there? That kind of worries me. Um, oh. Dang. Thank God I had my elytra on. <laughs> okay, well, let me go back up there, and, uh kill this guy I'll be right back with you supposedly he's not supposed to um, spawn over here and that's kind of disconcerting that means there's something wrong with uh, the farm I'm pretty sure so we will fix that in the future but in this general area um, that's basically it for my spawn chunks, but there are definitely things that I have changed in other places. So, um, let's go and check that out. And as you see, the reason why I need the extra stables is because if you put more than one horse in each one of these, they'll eventually push each other out. So, um, I'm going to make sure I have a, a stable for each one. And... To go to the next place I want to show you, I have to use the horse. Um, so maybe, you know what, instead of just having you ride with me the whole way, uh, with me talking, I'll just speed this up so you kind of know, because eventually there will be a world download for this world, um, so you know how to get to this place. But eventually, you know, I will put another um, a portal to get there, but right now I don't have one. Alright, so I'm here at this other place. It looks pretty nasty right now. 
Um, but believe me, in the future it will look good and we'll also do that on camera. Um, this is a... let me turn it on and I will show you. Yes. It's just a basic flower farm. And I have one more of these to make. Basically, um... Let me make sure the water's not flowing. Yeah, okay. Basically, this particular one does the dandelions and the red stuff, the red puppies, which I don't really need any because of the gullum farm. Uh, this one has the red tulip, allium, my favorite flower outside of the one in the swamps, vieja bleue. The rest of the tulips in this one, and this one I can get the oxide daisy. So let's go back. I mean, this is just out in the flower farm. Um, in the middle of nowhere. Well, in the middle of a... Hmm. I used to remember how to get out of here with my horse. In the middle of a flower forest. There we go. We got out of there. Um, there is stuff over there I can't show you. That is... Uh, and I keep referring to this. And I'll show you. You see this inventory of obsidian. Yes, that's going for my super secret project. Coming out in episode 50, which is 20 episodes away. But, um, yeah, I'm still working on that. It's a big project, and it will be done, hopefully, <laughs> by the time that comes out. And so I need to show you guys what I have done in the nether. So when you go through the nether from my main base, see, I still have all the um, beacon stuff on there. There's a ladder back here, which you guys all know about, because this is the way I used to go to the nether roof. But before, um, I didn't have this tunnel over here. And this is kind of cheaty, and some people may not enjoy the fact that I do this. But this platform, you can spawn the wither, and its head is right there, and you can punch it to death if you wanted to. So I made one of these cheaty little things because, you know, when you're looking for seven, eight, nine weekends and stuff, um, you don't, or at least I don't, want to fight the nether seven, eight, nine times. Sometimes it's like, okay, I got 20 minutes, I got to do this, and you just go and kill a nether so you can get a star and go from there. So uh, that is back here. I will fight a wither normally on cam for you guys, just to prove that I can. And right down here, right, oh my god, right down here, guys, um, to the right here, I have to make another um, nether tunnel. I have so many nether tunnels I have to complete in one of those episodes. We'll do a whole bunch of them. Um, I have the way to... Gotta eat. Sorry about that. Don't like eating on camera. This is the... Everybody knows what this is. This is the Stronghold. Nothing special here. Um, the way up to the ceiling... Oh, right here. The way up to the top. Ah! And I found this legitimately with eyes and Enders and stuff. Um, Should have done it on cam, but maybe, you know what? I'll find another, another uh, Stronghold for you on cam. So you know how it's done, at least, if you're not too familiar with this game. I get rid of the silver fish block because that's just a pain in the ass. So in here, I got my little platform protected. I have yet to make an enderman farm, um, but I wanted to show you something because people don't believe, will not believe me when I do the 50th episode. I actually worked on this. Um, you see right there that. Um, what are those? Bedrock block. That's the top of a obsidian tower that the end dragon gets its energy from. I've ripped down that tower to get obsidian. And we get past there. As you see, I have a beacon in here and, and most of my diamonds. <laughs> and if you look to the Roof, that's the one I just showed you. I've ripped down that tower. 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 
Oh, I think I just looked at one of them. And all of them are cut down a whole bunch. I just kind of showing this on cam so people, when I do finally come up with the 50th episode, will not go, hey, you cheated and NC edited this build. No. As you see, I got shit tons of freaking obsidian in my um, inventory. And I'm working on this tower. This tower will eventually... Do I have room to pick you up? Yes! This tower will eventually uh, be down about 20 blocks also. So... Um... I have this one, um, this beacon, just with the haste to help out with the obsidian mining. It just makes it so it's like, instead of two and a half seconds per obsidian block, it's one and a half seconds. And I still have to go get this egg off of here, but that's not a priority because it's going in the building that I'm building for my 50th episode. And by the way, after ripping down all these towers so far, and I'm going to rip down the rest of these towers, and then reset the for the dragon, and I'll fight the dragon on cam on one of the episodes also. Um, but I'm going to have to rip down all these towers again. So... I need a shit ton of obsidian, as a matter of fact, uh, achievements, no, statistics, blocks, which times mine, let's go to obsidian, I showed this on cam the other day, but just so people know that I'm not cheating this out, I'm at 14,000 right now, and I'm probably going to end up being around 35,000 when I'm done. Now one last thing I wanted to show you before I... Um, I guess that would be it, all, all the stuff I've done, I've been slacking, <laughs> is down this way, um, a little ways, there's a nether fortress, and I had set up the nether fortress to, um, this is it, excuse me bones, I have some of these horses in the nether just so I can get around a lot faster than before, um, I have reset up the nether fortress so I could um, wither skull farm, because I needed um, withers so I can get beacons so I could mine a little bit faster um, and uh, get some of these things done uh, I, I mined my guardian temple without a haste beacon and but I'm not going to be mining 35,000 40,000 obsidian blocks without uh, a haste beacon so let me show you from here um, if you take down the walls on the pathways and extend it out one with half slabs that is where um, wither skulls will skeletons will form all where there is nether rack nether brick um, skulls will form uh, I mean skeletons will form let me just grab a because I'm not gonna die with all this obsidian on me <laughs> um, so basically the the thing that you normally walk on is three wide and this is where the block that holds you in stays in so you take down the block and you extend it one wide on the pathways and basically everywhere even around the buildings one one bit wider and you make sure you put the uh, nether brick on it so because they won't spawn unless it's on another brick and so where there's a crossing path you can do a 7 by 7 area and so they can actually spawn in all this area so this was actually an intersection here not a covered intersection just a normal intersection and you um, can do 7 by 7 on each one of the corners and then I just marked it off and I put this uh, the fences so I don't fall off because sometimes when you're fighting others you kind of you kind of freak out a little bit and you go and you have to hide and sometimes you run off the edges of <laughs> pathways without realizing it and it's also good to make these things just in case you get in trouble and you can hide and let me just kill this last guy um yeah you you didn't even see me what's wrong with you and as you see um i have a couple of uh, what do you call them? Blaze spawners. And I just lock those off. And you just need to do... Um, I just go four out in each direction from the center. And make it too high. And the bottom area can 
can be where the spawner area is so you can actually run underneath it and this whole area withers will uh, not withers yeah wither skeletons will spawn let me get this guy real quick oh and the reason why I had chosen this area is because most of it is over lava and the really cool thing also about this is that if I go like this let's see and cross over this little path that I had made. Um, geez, my bow skills are way off. Man, oh man. Um, there's another fortress over here. A completely different fortress. In one of the episodes, I will um, go over the ways to make this a wither spawning area. Wither skeleton spawning area so you can learn how to do this yourself. Because believe it or not, it doesn't seem like a big deal to flatten this... I gotta get my... My right button does not like to work. Um, you can get this area flattened out. It doesn't seem like it's that much of a big deal, but... It really does help with the spawning of the skeletons. It really does. I, it doesn't seem like it would be a big deal, but it does add a lot of extra spawning spaces. And it does make it a lot easier to farm wither skulls. And you, you know, wither skulls are definitely needed. Plus, you can get a lot of, uh, I brought all the crap with me. But you can get a lot of um, bones and coal this way too. And coal, it's always good to have extra coal because, you know what, not too many people use coal blocks. And that's a really cool block to use. So, um, coal blocks uh, and having the extra coal and the ability to make the coal blocks is something extra. Excellent. Oh yeah, and before I go, I also made banners. I didn't um, show you these banners. They um, don't look as good with this texture pack. That's what they look like in the normal default texture pack. Um, I kind of like them. And I hope you do too, because that's what we're stuck with. So as you can see, I have uh, done a lot of work since the last video. Even though the video came out last Monday, um, it's been five weeks, four weeks in my life. So I've done a lot of work that was not on cam, and I have streamed a lot of it. Um, so if you ever want to catch a stream, it is Twitter, Twitch, KMA's Corner, twitch.tv, KMA's Corner. Follow me there if you want to see me stream. I plan on streaming at least Saturday nights, um, once a week, because I want to, I just enjoy doing it. But uh, seeing that nobody knows I'm streaming, I haven't really been getting anybody coming to the streams, which is kind of disappointing, but I understand why, because yeah, why would people come if they don't know about it? So, <laughs> now, uh, go over there and follow me immediately. Also, different things that have changed. Um, as you can see, webcam is back. I was having troubles with it. I decided I didn't want to do it. But now, instead of using Fraps to record my video and Audacity to record my audio, I've decided to use OBS to record everything now. So hopefully this video quality doesn't look any different, any worse. Um, and we'll see when it goes up. And I may have to tweak some settings, so maybe this video might need to look a little bit better. We'll see. Um, and also, you see in the bottom right hand side, there's a watermark. It's, uh, a, it's the K watermark. Yes, the K. The evil K. I am going to go to sleep. I don't want to be talking here. Um, there's pressure plate, <laughs> plates outside here. And a creeper can step on those if they wanted to and walk in and blow me up. And that would be no fun. So, that's why I slept. Yes. The watermark is actually a um, rendering of an ender crystal done by somebody. I had turned it black and white. I made it a black and white thing and turned it into my color, then added the K on top of it. And that's going to be my logo from now on. It's kind of like a rebrand. Um, before, I used to just have my little face here. We'll just throw that on the ground. And that face was on everything, and you know, my Minecraft skin's okay, but it's not something to put a brand around. So I, um, want to get you back, puts me on, 
So I made the K, and I hope you like it. Um, and I was actually thinking of taking the K off there because the the uh, Ender Eye image looks so good, and with it colored the color it is, make that my moon at night. So we will see. And also, one thing I also want to do is you see that one dragon head over there? I want to stick another one on that purple block right behind my head there. So it will be symmetrical because that's kind of annoying to me. <laughs> because that's how I am. But anyways, thank you for dealing with this very talky, showy episode. It's kind of like a world tour almost with the new stuff I've done for the last five weeks. Um, next episode, we're back to building. So have a great day. This is Keith from KMA's Corner, and uh, let me know if you like the changes that I've done with the way of making the videos, um, if the quality is okay, and all that good goobly goobly stuff, so I can get the best possible content and value or quality to you, so um, you guys will enjoy it more. Please say hi to me in the comment section, hi to me on Twitter, Twitch, and wherever. Because you know what? If your guys are still watching Minecraft content, you guys are my friends because Minecraft has really dipped down popularity and I still love this game. So if you still love this game, I want to be your friend. So say hi to me. Alright? Have a great day. Bye bye. It's Keith from KMS Corner.